Good evening, hoi polloi. It's Bourgeois Connor here, professional gambler since 2014, and I've done it with nothing but grit, determination, and a small £400,000 gift from my father. Thanks a lot for coming along today. I really do appreciate you all. What a massive week this is. Royal Ascot week. It's not Cheltenham, but it's still a massive week and it's a fantastic course. I've had the pleasure of working it myself twice, once as a teenager for Labbrooks, and once when I was a bit older for an on-course bookmaker. Absolutely fantastic week on course. If, you have, if you've never done it, I definitely recommend it at least once, I really do. Thanks a lot for coming along. It's been well over a year now since I started this channel, well over a year. I've enjoyed every minute of it, I really have. I've enjoyed every single minute and I'm going to do it indefinitely and it's always going to be free. Every single tip is always going to be free of charge. I'm never going to take your money, but I will ask you to like my video and if you haven't yet subscribed up to the account, I would love it if you did so. Thank you so much for coming along today. Right, a few ground rules on the channel just so you know where you stand. The statistics, the way they're calculated. We've got a 15 minute rule. So any bet that I put out there, if it shortens up in the 15 minutes after upload, I take the lower price. So whatever the lowest price is 15 minutes after upload, that's the one I use for statistics. We've got the extra places rule. The extra places rule. I need three of the seven major firms to be paying an extra place before I can claim it for statistics. I'm calling the seven major firms, the five UK high streets, Skybet and 365, no lucky bonuses. I certainly won't be taking a lucky 15 bonus for the statistics. I urge you to do it. I certainly urge you to try and obtain it, but I won't be doing it for the statistics. And finally, I take SP on any race that Skybet are not paying best odds guaranteed on. So if Skybet aren't paying best odds guaranteed, I take the SP. And also, I won't take standout prices. What am I doing this week? I've got a new set of accounts. I've got them from my sister's boyfriend's father. My sister's boyfriend's dad has let me sign up accounts in his name. He's given me all of his ID. He's got a separate bank account. He's passed the details over for me. So I'll be having a go at that. My plan is to absolutely lump the Bet365 and the Skybet and pick off what I can elsewhere. But the ones I'm really going for are his 365 and his Skybet. It's getting an absolute nightmare with regulation these days, as a lot of you will know. So I'm hoping I don't have too much trouble. As some of you will know, the firms are actually asking you nowadays to do things like hold a passport up to your face and stuff like that. You've got to hold a passport up to your face. You've got to send them 100 emails. They'll send you emails back saying it's too blurry and stuff. You'll have to go to court. I've been to court twice for it. Not in person. It was luckily all done online. One was against William Hill and one was against Betfair. We won them both. We won both court cases. But the bookmakers knew that we would. The bookmakers knew they would lose. But the reason they do it, the reason they try and send it to court, is because they know that a quarter of the people are just going to give up on the money. So what will end up happening is a quarter of the money the people give up and they get back and anything they lose, they just pay what they had to pay anyway. They're absolutely thieving so-and-sos, these bookmakers. They really are. So I'm hoping we can absolutely do them this week. I'm not going big in shop. I'm not going big in shop. And I did on Cheltenham. I'd done five figures on Cheltenham. I'd done five figures on Cheltenham. And I'm not afraid to admit that. It's just the way it went. The variance was against me. I've barely got six figures. And that's included all the gold I've got and the Hargreaves Lansdowne account. Gold, where would I go to buy gold? Hatton Garden Metals. I would buy it online. They've got a fantastic service. This isn't a plug. I've, this isn't a plug. I've just used them. And if anyone knows anywhere with a better price than Hatton Garden Metals, let me know. But it's not a plug. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'm not trying to advertise them, but they are fantastic prices for gold. Um, I'm genuinely not trying to advertise them. I think I would have to tell you if I was, legally. I'm not. I'm just saying that's... I, I've never met anywhere with a better... with a closer to the 
the actual price of it than them. I really haven't. Um, we're going to get into it today, but yeah, I'm not going big on shop for Royal Ascot. I'm really not. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of online punting. I'm going to be concentrating on the videos, and that's about it. We're not going to be getting stressed. I won't be anyway. Keep your stakes low. Keep them consistent. Don't go too big. It's just another week of the year. Our biggest week of the year, our biggest day of the year, is probably going to be some quiet, rainy Tuesday in... I was about to say rainy Tuesday in August then, but it won't be rainy. Our biggest day of the year will probably be some quiet, sunny Tuesday in August. Um, but then I suppose, we, yeah, we, who knows when it will be? Who knows when it will be? Every single penny on this, cha on this channel is donated to charity. The amount that we've donated so far, the total amount that we have donated since the start of this year is $1,940. I'm going to say that again. This channel has donated $1,940 to charity. And thank you all so much for that. It's mostly gone to Laura Lynn Children's Hospice, but there's been a few other various places as well. If you ever see an advert on this channel, don't get too annoyed. Don't click past it too quick because all the money goes to good causes. I'm not going to monopolise your bets this week. We're going to do what we always do. I'm not going to monopolise your bets. I'm just going to throw out a few bullets, see what we can do, see what we can hit. Maybe we'll hit, maybe we won't. Guys, we might lose four of the days and win one. At these prices, that's what's likely to happen. We're going to lose on most days, and it's that odd day that's going to bring it all back. And then in the long run, when you look back, that's how we're going to get our 10 20%. It's not like that. That's not how it works. It's like that. It's like absolute roller coaster. Like I said yesterday, the grind is a roller coaster. You just gotta ride it. It's literally how it goes. It really is. I'm not going to sing again. That went really bad. And I'm seven minutes in, so I'm not going to redo it just because of a, a bad singing voice. One thing I will say, be careful what bookmaker you use. Be careful when the bookmaker you use. Yesterday was a prime example. Skybet and 365 doubled their money on the day. They doubled their money on the day yesterday. Every other firm made a slight loss. Be careful what bookmaker you use in. I might keep the stat I do keep the statistics with the slow coaches, but if you are a speedy Gonzalez, it does make all the difference. It really does. It really does. I'm going to get into it today. We've got a 10 each way lucky 15 across the first two days of Ascot. We've got our stereotypical Connor 500, cross doubles as well, across two nice handicaps across the first two days. Guys, if I would say one thing for this week, ignore the favourites, get your cross doubles across the juicy handicaps. I say handicaps, but to be honest, looking at it, we're, we're in for a right treat on extra places this week. I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised at the amount of extra places being paid out. I mean, you can almost pretty much go through the, almost go through the card with the, with the value that some of these extra places are throwing out. I'm not going to do that, but just, I'm just saying, get them favourites out of your mind. Right, I've got it as a three star. I've got today's as a three star, but tomorrow morning's is a four star. Tomorrow morning is a four star all day long. Tomorrow's video in the morning is a four star bet because it's just absolutely solid value. This first bet is probably the only one that's spread across multiple days. Every single other bet is likely to be just on the one day. We're going to get into it. Don't go too big. Remarkable force, 25 to 1 on the Tuesday. Remarkable force, 25 to 1 in the Coventry Stakes, the 305 on Tuesday. What am I using for the paper? Pet log. It says, Dear Mr Robinson, Please find enclosed the confirmation document of your pet's microchip records. Lovely little pet Kathy is. Glad to have her here. It's a pleasure. I'm glad she's made a nice home here. But anyway, remarkable force. Guys, I'm sorry, just to clarify, I'm going to take SP on all of these. But remarkable force, 25 to 1. Beautiful, to be honest. That's a solid price. 365 or 33 to 1. And one more thing about 365, let me just say about 365, they're already best odds guaranteed. 365 are already best odds guaranteed now. So if you're a 365 user, 
get some early bullets in. Get the early bullets in. Because that bog value is going to add so much. Don't wait till the time. Don't wait till two minutes to the race and start race by race punting. Snipe out. Snipe it. Get yourself in well early. Get your bog value. We've got remarkable force in the Coventry Stakes, the 305 on the Tuesday. And we've got Reshawn, 12 to 1 in the Heritage Handicap, Ascot Stakes, 5 o'clock. Juicy, lovely handicap. It's a lovely handicap. You want to have a dig around. I've gone Reshawn, 12 to 1 in the Ascot Stakes on the Tuesday. We're moving on to Wednesday for the last two legs. I've left out the second handicap on Tuesday for now. Just like I have that bad each way. Oh, what a shame it was in the Bayeeds race. In, why, oh, it's a shame we didn't have... If that held eight, if that held eight, that would be an unbelievable bad each way. It really would. But anyway, moving on to Wednesday. But yeah, guys, tomorrow morning's video is just concentrating on the Tuesday. But we move on to Wednesday. Maria Branwell. Maria Branwell, 9 to 1 in the 2.30. The Queen Mary, Maria ba Bramwell. Lovely jubbly. Who was that? Maria, B so, uh, Emily Bronte's mum or something like that. I don't know. I'm not that great with some trivia. Nine to one. It's a half decent price. 2.30, Queen Mary on Wednesday. We're finishing off this lucky 15, this Royal Ascot lucky 15, with symbolised 14 to one in the five o'clock. Symbolised. The symbols, they're everywhere. You've just got to notice them. Open your eyes, they're everywhere. Symbolise, 14 to 1 in the Royal Hunt Cup. An absolutely juicy, lovely handicap. Five o'clock, probably the best handicap of the four, really. Is it? Oh, I don't know, actually. Maybe the Ascot Stakes. But either way, we've doubled them up in the Connor 500 cross doubles. Guys, get your cross doubles across these two races. Get your cross doubles across these two races. I've gone two times two, but that's just to keep it simple for the channel. That's the only reason I'm doing two times two. Get your four times four doubles on. Maybe do your, your three times three times three. It's absolutely beautiful. I've gone Reshawn and Coltrane on the Tuesday five o'clock. Reshawn and Coltrane, twelves and tens at the minute. And I've got them in with Symbolise and Totally Charming in the Wednesday five o'clock. So all that is, is four lots of each way doubles, reshorn on to symbolise, reshorn on to totally charming, cold train on to symbolise, and cold train on to totally charming. Absolutely beautiful bets. The professional punters love them. When do we place them? Okay, online, we place them online all day long. Because online, it works a bit different with the liabilities. You can just chuck them all in and press your stake in on the each way doubles and you're laughing. Do we do them in shop? No, we don't, and I'll tell you for why. Say you're doing £25 each way doubles across loads. If you write a massive stake on one slip, like a £600 slip, they'll be straight on that blower at the head office. They'll see the big stake, they'll get straight on that blower off the head office, and to be fair, for Ascot, they might take the bet, but usually it's going to be a big uh, uh, bet denied. You can have it at SP, 1p each way, or something like that. So that's why we don't do it in shop. What we do in shop, we feed it in bit by bit. All right, darling, can I just have that? And it'll be like a 25 each way double. Go up a few minutes later, do it again. Once an hour's passed, you can build your liabilities up and they don't notice it nearly as much as if you've got it all on one stake. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to monopolise your bets. I'm not going to. But what a fantastic week this is. We've got the US Open Golf. We've got Royal Ascot. The weather's beautiful. It's a sunny day out there. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than on the Connor 500 channel. There's really not. And I wholeheartedly appreciate all of you. I really do. It's a shame we can't all have dinner together, all of us, on a massive round table where we all have our dinner together. And, you know, but it can't be. So we'll have to be here instead. But, guys, whatever you're doing this week, Take care of yourself, look after yourself, and if you're struggling with a gambling problem, pack it in, because there's some real horror stories out there. There's some real horror stories. I'm not going to talk about it on this video, but I do have to say, quitting gambling could be the best thing you've ever done. Whether you're going to do it now, or whether you're going to do it at the end of Ascot, 
could be the best thing you've ever done. And if you're looking for that final push, someone to do it, say I tell you, then let me be it. Connor 500 says, quit gambling. I hope you all have a lovely evening. I'll be back tomorrow for day one Royal Ascot tips, four star race. Hope you have a lovely evening and I hope the rest of the racing today goes well. Take care of yourself.